Hey guys, it's Chris Anderson here from SuperheroSellers.com. I want to show you a really cool trick that I've been using for Amazon to Amazon flips and really just for any online sourcing. One of the biggest things I hear people say about online sourcing is how difficult it can be to know whether or not a product is restricted. So right now there's a couple products and services out there. You pay like 20 bucks a month. They have a list of restricted products or a list of restricted brands, not even products, just brands. And if you're looking at a brand that is on this list, it'll tell you that it might be restricted. Um, you know, and I'm sure that works fine. But the problem is, is that if that list is not updated or you're looking at a new uh, list or maybe there's certain products that a brand makes that are restricted or aren't restricted, um, it's not going to do anything for you. It's not going to work. So um, then the other way, of course, is to have your computer open and then you got your phone in one hand you're using your computer with the other hand that's kind of a nightmare that's how I do it uh, or at least used to do it but now I have found a better way so what I'm going to show you guys is a little piece of software that will actually let you run your Amazon seller app just like it's on your phone on your computer and allow you to copy and paste ASINs out of um, out of the Amazon website to or any website for that matter or UPCs um, and be able to view whether or not a product's restricted which will really be helpful for you so first thing we need is we need a piece of software it's called Knox um, and it's an Android emulator for Windows if you have Mac or something uh, go get a real computer and uh, go to Windows so First thing we want to look for the uh, URLs for it's going to be en.bignox.com. You can Google Knox App Player. It just um, you want to download it from bignox.com because there's uh, other versions of it out there. So after we get it installed, it's pretty basic to install. It's a little bit of a big download, but that's not a problem. Uh, it's like uh, 288 megs right now. After we install it, there's no real setup for it, but uh, we open it up and we get this. Now I've already installed the Amazon Seller app. If you're not familiar how to do that with Android, you go to the Play Store, you go to Amazon Seller. This is really just like using a phone. So a lot of these controls here, like the home screen button, um, you should be pretty familiar with. There's some really good videos on YouTube if you want to delve on how to use Knox even more. Um, I use it to cheat at Pokemon Go all the time. So you know, there's a lot of really awesome things you can do with it, like check whether or not a product's restricted get better Pokemon you name it you can do it with this so we've installed Amazon seller we log into Amazon seller I'm gonna put my information in here again this is all pretty basic stuff okay now I'm logged in Amazon seller app you guys should be very uh, familiar with this so let me show you how this works let's go to uh, Amazon here let's look at a product and uh, see if it's restricted um, let's do um, rock ports okay we grab the ASIN out of that we pop over to Knox here sell a product Okay, got it. Okay, and this stuff only comes up because I'm just installing this. And this is what it looks like. And we can even use this like to calculate our profit and stuff. You know, that's our gross proceeds. So the low price on this is $35.99. Um, you know, we can enter our buy cost on that and just like we were using our app at home or on our phone, okay? Let me show you here what it looks like for a restricted price. Uh, this Mizuno brand. Nah. This Mizuno brand is restricted. So we pull the ASIN out, copy it into our Amazon seller app here. Done. Just like that. It's going to tell us it's restricted. So this works for any category. Um, you know, I just showed you guys shoes here, but you know, software, whatever you're going to be buying, will show you this. I was using the ASIN. Uh, you know, if we wanted to source off like Kohl's.com, we could pop in a URL, 
uh, instead, of, or not the URL, we could pop in the UPC instead of the ASIN. Um, you know, this is real easy, uh, works every time. It'll show us inventory alerts, we can check our profitability. Um, this really has changed how I do Amazon to Amazon flips, and I hope it helps you uh, get over the ump of uh, restricted products, okay? So you guys have a great day, make lots of money.